Hello and good evening and welcome to another story a day, uh, one of um, 26 stories I'm telling in aid of the Stroke Association, hopefully raising a, a little bit of money uh, for them to, doing, to support the good work that they do in even these difficult times. So thank you to everybody who's been watching and thank you to everybody who's been popping a little bit of money in the pot. It's great if you can that uh, you, you, you do that and um, if you can't that's absolutely fine. Uh, the stories are a gift so uh, I hope you enjoy this evening's little story. Well this evening's story is set in a jungle and uh, Jungles are kind of fairly timeless, so I'm not going to start with Once Upon a Time. I'm just going to start with the idea, the picture of an elephant following his usual path through the jungle. Trunk swaying, the beautiful sounds of the tropical birds surrounding him. All was well in his world. He was enjoying the foliage, the smell of the heat and the damp just rising around him, just swaying along. But something caught his eye on the path ahead of him, a little patch of colour. What, what was it? What could it be? So he approached more carefully than he might otherwise have done, and to his surprise, he saw Hummingbird lying on her back in the middle of the path with her legs in the air. Oh, he thought, I hope she's not dead. But he could see her little eyes were moving around, darting about. So he stopped and he spoke. Hummingbird, he said, what on earth are you doing lying in the middle of the path with your legs in the air? I almost stepped on you. I'm so sorry, Elephant, she said. It's just, you know, I heard on the grapevine that the sky was going to fall today. So I wanted to be ready to hold it up. Oh, and the Elephant laughed at this. He said, you think those skinny little legs are going to stop the sky from falling? What are you like? And she said, well, I know, and maybe not on my own, but I wanted to play my part. Well, the elephant stopped in his mind, rumbled around what she just said, and slowly, very slowly, lowered himself to the ground, rolled himself over onto his back and put four legs and the trunk up into the air alongside Hummingbird. So there we are, that's this evening's story. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. I'll see you then. Take good care now. Bye-bye.